How you doing everyone? This is Kevin. I'm back here with another video. We're working on the old Farmall Super A tractor and we're going to be gapping some spark plugs. And I just wanted to show you guys how to gap a spark plug and what tools you would use to do that. So check it out. All right, these are uh, some of the different types of gauges you can get uh, to gap maybe your points or your spark plugs. Uh, but any one of these will do spark plugs. Uh, this one here, if, if it doesn't go big enough uh, for your spark plug gap, uh, what you do is just double them up. And these, they all tell you how many thousandths of an inch each one of them are. And if you need something, say you need 21 thousandths or 22 thousandths or to say 27, I see them here. I can take the 7 and the 20 to put it together and I'll have a 27 thousandths of an inch uh, on this if you was to use a type like this. Uh, but now these ones here, right here, are basically four spark plugs. These four here are four spark plugs. And uh, they, they just have a bigger, uh, they're a little thicker than these. These, these, when you get the smaller gauge, it'll go a lot smaller. Um, this one here will go a lot smaller. I think this goes down to six thousandths of an inch. Well, it might even go lower than that. Uh, two thousandths of an inch right here. Two thousandths of an inch. So that's pretty thin, which these do not, the spark plug gauge do not go down that low. Uh, that low. But any one of these will actually, um, you know, gap your spark plugs. Uh, now, I know the uh, tractor that I'm working on uh, needs to be at 25 thousandths of an inch. And I could pick any one of these. And I come up and I find the 25 thousandths of an inch. Which is this one right here. And it says 025 on it. That's my 25 thousandths of an inch. And I'll just take it and try to get it in there. And if it won't go in there, I find the slot on the side of this one. And then I just go ahead and move it up or down until it fits in there. So now we have 25 thousandths of an inch on there. Um, so this gauge, they're all good gauges. Every one of them are good and they'll all do the same thing. You just have to look for your number, what it tells you need to be gapped at, and then you use the number and uh, gap it. So we'll do another one here. Matter of fact, this one here, this is a little round one. And um, it's actually pretty good too. And what you do is you just slip it on there. Once you get it on there, you just take it and you want to twist it just a little bit and it loosens it up, twist a little bit once you get to your 25 thousandths. Now, if it goes a little too far, you might want to just uh, tap on the end of it a little bit. Do it again till you got your 25 thousandths of an inch. So these are not hard to do, and I will leave a link to Amazon for some of these uh, spark plug uh, to gap your spark plugs, the tools to gap your spark plugs, and uh, they're actually pretty good little tools. So let's try another one here. Now this one here, find my 25. Okay, we got our 25 thousandths of an inch on there. Get us another spark plug. And like I said, we're doing all this for the uh, tractor. Uh, well, hopefully we can get this uh, tractor running. And I may have already posted the video of it running. But 
I went just a little bit too far on that one so we're going to just take it back just a little bit and that's a perfect fit right there nice perfect fit so uh, if you guys are looking for one of these little tools and you want to gap your spark plugs like I said in the description down below we'll leave a link so you guys can check them out and uh, get you a spark plug tool something to gap your spark plugs perfect maybe not mm, that's good there you just want to fill it where it just just goes through you want it to touch a very little bit on each side recheck each one of them make sure I got them all okay Okay, now all my spark plugs have been gapped and we're ready to put them in the tractor. Uh, pretty easy little thing uh, to do, but uh, you know, this is something that will help you a lot. And when you're wanting to start something up and wanting it to run right, you need that gap to be at a certain distance from the tip of this guy right here to the tip of that electrode down in there, you want that gap to be right. All right, I wanted to do this up close here just to show you guys what you're gapping. When they say gap a spark plug, you see this little pin coming out of the center, this little electrode right there? Right there, I'm just touching it right there. Right at the tip of that. What you're doing is you're measuring the distance from the bottom of that this piece here to the top of that piece right there and you want that to be whatever they tell you it says you want the right size gauge like this is a 25 thousandths you can see the O25 on there what you're trying to do is to get this and this to fit you want that to fit right between there perfect snug fit doesn't have to be super tight, but you don't want it super loose either. So that's what you're looking for right there. Pretty easy to do. Not too hard. But when they say gap a spark plug, that's what they mean. Alright, that's how you gap a spark plug. When they say gap a spark plug, now you know what it means when you gap a spark plug. And that's just some of the tools that you could use to gap your spark plug with. So I would like to tell everybody, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, and comment if you'd like. Keep it real. Keep it clean. Till next time.